Hey guys, it's 777 bringing you another Wi Fi battle against my good friend Andrew or Little Nintendo 64. So, yeah, this is a battle we had a few weeks ago. It was NU and I had it saved on my computer, so I decided to upload it before I go on vacation. So, yeah, um, here it is. Uh, I lead with Pinsir. He switches out of his Rapidash as I just decide to go for the Earthquake and he ends up going into Armaldo, which was sweet. And yeah, so I just hit it with another earthquake, and I'm pretty sure this thing. I know I have my sash, so I can get off my rocks anyway, and I'm just trying to get enough. as much damage as I can against it. So yeah, I get my rocks up as he kills me with a stone edge. So I'm gonna switch out as he dies to life orbs, so yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, now I'm, he goes out to his Zelda. I switch out, not sure where he is, as he goes for the willow. And yeah, I don't really care about Paw getting burned, so that's cool. He goes for Mega Horn, it's not going to do much. And I go for Toxic just to get some residual damage on his Rapidash. So yeah, I get hit with Burn. He goes for another Mega Horn. And yeah, I just go for the Recover here to get all heal all my damage back because another Mega Horn would probably KO. So yeah, and I get burned, but it doesn't matter. He goes for Flare Blitz, and um, probably a smarter move, but it's stab, but he gets hit with recoil, so. And I'm just gonna hit him with Earthquake and take him out, which is cool, because I'm pretty sure it'd KO there because of stab, even with the burn. He goes, so yeah, I predict the lead sheet and just go for Ice Beam to get some damage on this thing. So uh, yeah, that's a pretty cool move, because lead sheet can get pretty annoying. And yeah, I didn't want to switch anything to deal with that. So I get hit with burn, doesn't matter. I go out to kiss kiss as he goes for a light screen. It doesn't really matter to me. So yeah, he's going for a lead C now, predicting me to over predict maybe. I don't know, I just go for toxic. As he gets some more lead seed. Now I'm predicting him to switch now, so I'm just double switch and go out to quag as he goes out to an ente. And um yeah. So now he's going to go for E speed to take me out. I don't see an item so I'm pretty sure he's banded at this point. He's gonna go for another East speed and uh, yeah I go for toxic just to get some residual damage on that Entei cause it's banded and I don't really want that thing running around and yeah he's gonna take me out now with the second E speed so word. He gets hit with more poison. I switch out to Lickster as he switches out of Stark and goes out to Gridilly. I predict a switch and go for the sub and uh yeah which is cool so i'm just gonna go for a uh, focus punch here because it's pro and stuff and he goes for seed bomb breaks my sub i hit him with the focus punch which was sweet and it doesn't quite take him out but that's all right now he toxics me which is a pretty solid play just to get some damage every turn on me and uh yeah so i get some more leftovers after taking him out with a fire blast and he goes out to Entei. Uh, he goes for the Flare Blitz. I was pretty sure that I could li live it. And I do. And I'm able to just sub. But I thought I would have a little more HP. And be able to get up another sub. But I don't. So that really kind of sucked. But it doesn't matter. He dies anyway to poison damage. Now he's going to go out to Jelly Bean. So yeah. He takes me out with an Energy Ball. As I go out to Boom Pow, just hit him with a close combat. I was predicting a switch, so I'd rather be locked into close combat, but he makes a nice play and just goes for the lead seed. So, yeah. I'm going to have to switch out, obviously, because Energy Ball would do a solid amount after the draw. So, um, yeah, he hits me with an Energy Ball. I decide to go for Psychic because it's a stab and Espeon is beast. And he goes for Light Screen, which is a solid play. So, I can't I mean, really complain. It doesn't really matter considering he has Mr. Mime last. I go for psych Psychic, it doesn't do anything. But I carry Shadow Ball on this, so I hit him with that. It does a butt chunk. And he goes for the T And yeah, but Synchronize hits him back at with it, which was nice. I go for Shadow Ball, get the special defense drop, which was really cool. As he teeter dances. So I'm hoping not to get parahaxed or confused, but I get hit with it. But he predicts the switch, goes for the T wave, which was Sweet, thank goodness I didn't switch because my channel would be screwed. And uh, yeah, I'm hitting with a shadow ball, take him out. And yeah, he's just gonna go out to Jelly Bean, take me out with the energy ball. And yeah, I'm gonna go out to Chan, my Scarfer, hit him with a fire punch, 
for the win. So, um, yeah, good game, Andrew. Everyone go check him out. I'm going to be on vacation for a week, so don't expect any posts, people. But, yeah, I'll be back. Get me to 1K. Peace.